this video I'm going to show you step by step how to improve the information architecture of an existing app. So first I'm going to show you the app and then I'm going to show you the problem I identified with the app. Finally I'm going to show you a solution and a way how to approach it. So the app is called Posicar and it offers inspiration for photo shootings for uh, example, you can find certain poses, how to do them, how to uh, have the people stand in certain ways. And the app is structured like this. You have the home tab. In the home tab, you find categories for photo taking, for different poses, for example, for Halloween, family, wedding, these kind of things. And you also have an area for shortcuts down here. And then you have a section for news or trending pictures or latest um, poses added to the catalog. And next up is a sun calculator. This gives you information about daylight at a certain date. So for example, you can, if you have a wedding next year, you just go to 2023, done, and you can see, okay, the daylight will be in the morning like this. We have a blue hour, the sunrise, the golden hour, and the evening, and this is different depending on where you are. And then we also have a story section. Here you can find stories how photos were taken. For example, let me find one, they're all behind the paywall or some of them. For example, we have grab the groom, here you find information how to take this picture, how it was taken, uh, what settings were used, what gear was used and maybe some tips about how it was retouched afterwards. And finally, we have a section called freebies. Um, here you find free stuff, for example, a brand style design PDF or a wedding workflow PDF checklist and some more things behind the paywall. So let's see, uh, in the home tab we also have a place for favorite poses, those are hidden behind the menu and here you have the favorites, you can see these are the favorites you have already selected, then we also have here a mood board and here you can collect everything for a shooting, for example you have notes you can take, you have poses you can save, stories you can save and also the daylight setting for the day of the wedding. So this is a great planning tool. And also you have the playbook. So if you need some inspiration, how to interact with the people, you have dad jokes, you have emotional things you can ask them to do. For example, close your eyes and trace the other's face with your nose. Or something funny like uh, pretend you are cats. These might lighten up the mood and uh, might help in your photo shooting. Now that you have a rough understanding of the app, I'm going to show you the problem I had with the information architecture of the app. Before we go there, I want to remind you to subscribe and like the video if you want to see more content like this. The problem. Well, let's understand the structure first. Over here we have um, screens of the app, we have freebies, we have stories, we have the sun calculator, we have the home tab. In the home tab we have categories, shortcuts and news, trending and latest as well. And we have the menu button only in the home tab here. If you click it you see the home option again, then we have favorites, mood boards and playbooks. These are the main features, we have some other things here but they are not features per se. So now that we have mapped out all the features, um, let's take out the pictures here and connect everything so we have a tree structure. Um, all the main set features down here and then in home we have these and also we have the menu in the home section. And let's bring it up a little bit closer so you have a better look at it. And now let's jump into the solution. So first we have home here a second time and the shortcuts. And for now, I think we can remove the second one and the shortcuts as well, because um, we won't need them anymore if the information architecture actually is good. And next up, let's take a look at the main theme of the app. So the app is called Posicar and it's everything about poses. So let's highlight everything that's connected to this. So we have the stories, we have the home tab with the categories and the favorites. And then we have low priority items, for example, the freebies and the news. My assumption is that the freebies are downloaded once and then the tab is actually not used anymore. And as well for the news, they take away space in the home tab and are not super helpful and there's not much news there. And then we have the main features for your photo workflow, which are the um, poses in the home tab, the sun calculator, the playbook and the mood boards. 
Next up, let's talk about the menu. Why is this only accessible from the home tab? We have important features here like the mood board and the playbook. The mood board is something you can unlock with a premium and this is kind of important I think. So why is it hidden here? I think this belongs in the overall um, app and should be accessible from everywhere. So let's change this here. And then let's collect together what belongs together here. Everything that belongs to the poses goes in the home tab and uh, low priority items go in the menu and then we can remove these features into the main architecture. Great. So now we actually have a pretty good structure, I think. So this also supports the main user flow. So you first select your poses, then you select the date for the wedding, then you select uh, maybe how you interact with the couple, maybe you have some, some experience and select some fun things from here and then you put it all into a collected mood board for the special date you're planning. Next up, I thought, okay, maybe let's see the wordings. Do they match? Do they fit? So home is all about poses. Why not actually call it poses? As the stories, the favorites and the categories are not features per se, let's uh, remove them for now. And then we have the sun calculator, we have the playbook and we have the mood boards, which I think are more of a planning instrument. So I would suggest remaining them into something like planner. Now that we have everything in place, let's bring it back into the initial position and let's see what we changed. Mm. All right, here we have the menu with the low priority options. I also put back the other options we had before. And um, then we have the poses where we removed the news trending latest. These are now on the menu and the shortcuts are also removed and only have the categories. So the main theme of the app is now poses and they're front and center. So you open the app and you directly can start browsing. For the sun calculator, we also added the uh, top navigation bar here with the actions up top and um, we removed the stories here and put the playbook there. As well as for the planner, we removed the freebies and put the planner here. So now everything is in place. And uh, after creating this, I had another look and thought, okay, maybe the poses, we had um, the non-features, but also important things. Let's maybe use the playbook menu, the tab menu here and put it in poses for like stories, um, favorites and categories. And then I also thought, okay, let's uh, bring back the old menu with the new wordings to make it look a little bit nicer. So this is it. Before I show you the before and after pictures, I want to remind you again to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more content like this. And um, also feel free to share this with your communities. Help me grow this channel so I have an incentive to create more of these videos. Back to the screens. Up top you can see the before pictures, down low you see the after pictures. And here you see, okay, now we have a navigation bar that's always up top and you can from any place always reach the um, menu with the settings and all the different things there. And also um, you can use the uh, navigation bar up top for the actions. So this is a common Android theme we have here. This might be quite helpful for the users because they expect the actions to be there and they don't need to look in every screen again. Okay, how this does this work? How does this work? So this might be a nice um, additional benefit of creating an information architecture that works everywhere the same. So that's it from my side. I hope you liked this video. And if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below. If you have any apps that you want me to review in the future, please feel free to share them with me and I'll take a look. All right. Bye. See you in the next one.